Woo wee! Those are some fine looking trucks. Which one you want to drive, Matt? I'll take the red one. Red one. He's going for the shorter wheelbase. I don't think he knows that the longer wheelbases usually ride better. When the American farmer calls for help, I answer. <laughs> Are these some really nice trucks? I can see why people don't like attorneys. <laughs> it's 4.30 a.m. and I am on my way to Boston. You guys excited for your big trip? Yeah. We successfully made it into Parma. I'm picking out my entourage for our flight out to Boston. <laughs> I have my lovely sister and brother-in-law who are taking a vacation right in the middle of farming season. <laughs> Morning, Matt. Morning, how are you? This is my childhood friend, Matt. I've known him almost as long as I've known myself. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. You ever whipped around in an F600 before? Uh, yeah, I think the, uh, the Home Depot load and goes maybe? Nice. Cause that's my daily driver. Experience. <laughs> we made it to the great John Hopkins Airport. This is not an international hub, but it might as well be. It is. It is. Oh, it is? This is an international airport. I really thought it wasn't. Typically when you're getting dropped off at the airport, your driver lets you off at your gate. I've never parked in an airport parking lot before, so we have a bit of a walk. I can see why people don't like attorneys. They're gonna blur people's faces. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You getting excited? <laughs> yeah. Show the camera. No, dude, it's got my info. <laughs> nice. We made it through the TSA check. I was sweating bullets. I checked about six times to make sure I didn't have a pocket knife. I'd feel naked without one. Hello? Hey, are you guys okay? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. We're, we're at our gate. Yeah, we stopped for breakfast. Okay, we got connections here, so if you get in any trouble, let us know. Appreciate it. All right, bye. Bye. Currently so excited, getting ready to board. <laughs> Successfully seated, ready for takeoff. The flight attendant recognizes us from the YouTube channel. <laughs> she, she gave us a window seat because she knew who Jeff was. <laughs> This is such an important moment in our trip. Are you ready? Wheels down. I don't oh. think they are. Oh. Wheels down. Oh. We made it to Boston. Just waiting on our uh, our entourage. We're getting a drive from the dealership itself. Something about the air here feels different. I can tell this isn't Ohio. What you meant? It's true. The, the people here are very different. Way different. We've had no communication with our actual driver. A third party, the salesman who sold us this truck, has set it up and he hasn't sent me his number over. So we're just kind of winging it. We're looking for Tony and an F-150. Blue. This isn't like our city. Struggling to find our ride big time. Making it to Boston, I had to make sure we, we significantly rep the gear. It's time for uh, the rest of the country to know who we are. Oh, yeah, that's a nice car. How you feeling? Pretty good. You ready to drive the old cabin chassis? Yeah. It might be a little rough without the bed. Oh, they're nice trucks. We're gonna have to show you these puppies outside. I guess we could explain what we're, what we're even doing. We flew out to Boston this morning after purchasing a truck uh, a couple days ago. We were trying to get it home before the next time we have to cut hay. Ready to hit it. That's right. Quick drive. Woo wee! 
Those are some fine looking trucks. Which one you want to drive, Matt? I'll take the red one. Red one. He's going for the shorter wheelbase. I don't think he knows that the longer wheelbases usually ride better. But these are some really nice trucks. We were desperate. We have some three. We have three trucks down indefinitely with parts. We needed to upgrade to a 550 and a 600 package or something on that size sooner than later. So this kind of forced our hand, and here we are in Boston getting it done. Special shout out to my buddy Matt for hauling up here on a day's notice, making the 11 hour drive back. When the American farmer calls for help, I answer. <laughs> I got the Oxford White F600. I think it's 189 inch wheelbase, is that right? And we have the Race Red F550. That's a 160 inch wheelbase. So when we get home, we're hopefully going to put a nine foot bed on this red one and an 11 foot bed on this white one. A couple toolboxes, gooseneck ball, and we'll be on our way. Dual lease, much needed upgrade over our single tire axles. And this is just a whole lot safer, sturdier built, better brakes, all around better package for what we need it for. Where do you want to go? Home. Home. Let's go. Do you know the way? <laughs> I got a phone. The XL package. Nice trim. Last time it'll ever be this clean. So we got the temp tag showing up on the back here. I'm still kind of uncertain. They couldn't really answer me at the, the DMV or the title bureau. I'm kind of uncertain if that tag lets us go out of state, but we have about eight hours before we're back in Ohio, so hopefully we just don't get pulled over. since I was a small child. He specializes in the logistic world. So he handles freight and all that for a very large supplier of metal alloys. Is that correct, Burbage? That is correct. And he is doing what he does best. He is planning our trip back. We're probably gonna stop in Hartford, Connecticut for lunch, see if we can park these two rigs beautifully at some type of landmark and get a, a funny drone shot or a picture with them. Hartford? Hartford. I'll see you then, buddy. Later, hey, buddy. give me a startup. Let's hear this puppy purr. Oh, diesel! Doesn't even smoke! Well, we're about halfway home and we were on a bridge. We saw this giant green thing in the air. So we whipped around, lined the truck up, and we're going to see if we can get a sweet shot with it. It's a pretty cool shot. Some French guy gave it to us. It's pretty sweet. That is it. My dude looking great in the red. <laughs> We've drove around kind of like idiots for a couple minutes looking for the best possible picture, and I think this is going to be it. Of course, it says no drones, but we have Lady Liberty at her finest. The rear end, but that's okay, you can tell what it is, but the nice trucks right in the front. All right, let me get a good picture. Those over there, man. Skyscraper. <laughs> is there the World Trade Center is right straight ahead, right? Uh, I can't see. Yeah. With the tower on it. And then this is. I want to say this is still New Jersey. The stuff over here. Huh. But that's New York City. Here it is. 
All right, buddy, you ready to get home? The way we, the you way know you the way? <laughs> you know how to get home from here? Yeah, I do. <laughs> all right. I've never seen New York City before, and we don't have any hay down to cut, and all the planters are filled, so I'm having a lot of fun going around it. Uh, this isn't exactly the vehicle that I would choose to tour a congested city. There's been some nail-biter situations and all that, but we're doing all right. We're having fun, and we're getting by, and I think Matt's enjoying himself, so that's really all that matters. Look at this view. Well, we just stopped and uh, filled up both trucks. They're about halfway. We are paying $6.09 cash for diesel just past the Pennsylvania border. So that kind of hurts a little bit. Um, well, as you know, the, the state of affairs of all inputs kind of suck right now, but whatever, we gotta get these trucks home. But regardless, we stopped for an energy drink and a Gatorade and a bathroom break, and we're ready for the final long haul home. Ready for the final push? I'm ready, buddy. All right. See you when I see ya. All right, you know how to get home? I, I think so. Okay. 80 all the way. The fuel tank spout is meant to be mounted to the bed or whatever you have bolted to your chassis. Well, obviously we don't have a, a, any type of bed yet. So the fuel tank spout is just kind of wobbling up there. And it was really annoying to fill up because I had to hold up there the whole time because the angle wasn't right and the pump just kept clicking off. So that was, that was a little bit of an added frustration. I don't know how we did it, but we made it back in the same 24 hour time slot. This is how. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, I had my monster. That's it. Any any viewers that have driven a F550 or 600 with nothing on the back has a pretty good idea of how our 700 miles was. <laughs> so bad. So rough. I think I'm going to need an adjustment tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god.